Welcome back to Checkpoint. Thank you for staying with us. Let's continue informing you. Now, former Bungoma Governor Wycliffe Wangamati has blamed the former Speaker of the National Assembly and the current Governor Ken Lusaka following the demolition of a multi-million shilling commercial building owned by his family. Speaking in Bungoma, Wangamati said the building located along the Malaba Kanduyi Road next to the Kanduyi Stadium had all requisite paperwork and even had a court order against its demolition, but it was disregarded. Another building also owned by his family and still under construction is also earmarked for demolition. Alan Ochanda reports. A series of demolitions have been witnessed in Kakamega, but Sunday it was Bungoma's turn. With this blow, multi-million four-story business complex owned by former Bungoma Governor Wycliffe Wangamati's family being reduced to rubble as youth descended on it, carrying away valuables. Wangamati claims the demolished building had all the paperwork besides his father having legitimately acquired the piece of land it sat on. The former governor now blaming Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula and Bungoma Governor Ken Lusaka for the turn of events. This is not about us as a family grabbing the land. This is a war between the Wangamatis and the Wetangulas. And I want to tell uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, if you feel that when I was governor I made mistakes, address me come after me don't go after my father don't go after my family don't go after anybody else we made an application wakanipa wakanipa letter of allotment niko na letter of allotment niko na na, na plans niko na lease 99 years sasa kitu gani ingine i have been paying rates and rents every year the government approved the plans and there I am. The building is located along the Kandui Malaba Road and is next to the Kandui Stadium that is under construction in readiness for this year's Madaraka Day celebrations. The contested piece of land is allegedly earmarked for parking space. <laughs> the Wangamati's father insists they had acquired a court order stopping the demolition, but it was disregarded. It is important that the county government of Bungoma respects the court orders. The court orders were very clear. They gave us an injunction for six months. Why can they respect that? So that we go through the court process and know what the problem is. If today the court says that the Wangamat family are on the room, then that is okay. But to bring politics into this, to come here and hurt Wangamati family, just because of weekly for full Wangamati. I'm an investor in Bungoma. Sasa kama investor tukiwa tukichukua vitu tunafunja vile tunafunja na serikali ndio ilinipa hii plot na wanafunja surely sisi katika Bungoma tunaenda wapi Mimi naona this is a very frustrating. The demolition exercise also targeting this other eight-story building owned by the family that stands right next to the ill-fated one. Lakini pia tunaomba serikali ya wakati inaangusha vitu hii iweke tena vitu ya maana ambayo itatufaiti ambayo itatuletea manufaa kama vijana wa Kandoi na kama wakazi wa Kandoi kwa hizi nyakati ambazo zinakuja mbele wasiwe wanafanya hivi alafu wapake tu stadium na waache kae hivyo mimi nafikiri litakuwa la maana sana litatusaidia Ali this year residents of Milimani estate in Kakamega town also suffered a similar fate after their houses were brought down with the government saying they had built on public land Alan Chanda KT News. Now the 